Hello everybody, Lady Asumi here, and do you know what day it is? It is December the 24th, the day before Christmas, and we are on the final T in this calendar. Let's see what it is. I smelled it. I'm iffy. But you know, we give it a chance. That's what we do here. We just, we give everything a chance. I'm all dressed up for, for Christmas, for, uh, for work, by the way. Yeah. I love this top. I can only wear it seasonally. But anyway, today we have Fireside Mocha. I don't like coffee, and usually coffee's in mocha, and this smells like it has coffee in it. However, usually, which is kind of weird because it's a tea with coffee. Interesting. Um, yeah, but anyway, we'll see what happens because I like iced coffees and stuff, so... There's that weird transition area. What is going on? Do you see this? Let's see if we can get that down. Yeah, whatever. I also have a little red bow in my hair to keep my hair up today. I don't know how long this is going to last because I have a feeling it's going to slide down my hair the entire night. Anyway, off track. Moving on. Fireside Mocha. Oh, I found that crazy fast. Um, cozy Cocoa Bean is what it's called. Uh, what it says. Uh, ingredients. Cocoa beans, apple, sugar, sugar sprinkles, all the artificial ingredients and sprinkles, uh, chocolate chips, pink peppers, natural flavoring contains soy. Okay. There's no coffee. There's no coffee beans. It's cocoa beans. Are they, like, coffee beans? No. Coffee beans would be coffee beans, right? I'm not a coffee person. Cocoa beans would be, like, cocoa like chocolate. Anyway, pink peppers. I've never heard of pink peppers before. Have you heard of pink peppers before? Let me know down below. Let me know. Uh, anyway, we're gonna give it a try. Let's pop that down there. And um, I had something new to show you guys. Oh, see this beautiful thing? Look at those hedgehogs. Look at the hedgehog. Oh, he's so cute. And then there's another one. You got all kinds of bulbs around them. And then there's another one right here. Aww. This one doesn't come with a filter, so I had to use a tea bag in it. Um, my friend gave me this yesterday for our gift exchange, and which is why my video was late going up uh, yesterday. But yeah, she gave me that, and it has this nice little slidey door at the top. I kind of want to. I'm afraid. Yeah, it just slides open. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, it just slides open like that. Anyway. Um, to me, it smells like coffee. It smells like mocha. Like, mocha, I believe, is usually made with chocolate and coffee. Like, half and half. Um, something like that, maybe? Anyway. This is... I got a feeling this is still going to be really hot because this is insulated. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and take off the, the lid, for one. And it's been sitting here for a little while because I want to... Ooh. Hello. Can you see the steam? Oh, yes. Yes, you can. Well, I can. I hope you can. All right, let's um, let's go ahead and take the tea bag out. We don't need the tea bag. There are big pieces of apple. Do you see that? They weren't that big when I put this in here. Um, I guess they plumped up from the uh, from the water for sitting there for a while. All right, so ooh ooh, I don't know about this. She's hot. Okay, how hot? It's pretty hot. I kind of wish I had something to dump a little bit out in because I have a feeling that this is, uh, give me a minute. I'm going to go get a glass. I'm back. I couldn't find a glass. Not a small one anyway. So I got one of these little plastic tubs. Um, I usually put salad dressing in it. <laughs> oh, let me move the, the mug though. Um, let me move that to the side because otherwise if I knock it over right now, it'll end up on my laptop and, uh, I will cry. 
I will I will cry a lot a lot anyway so we're gonna give it a try in this oh my god it's so hot This could be like 20 minutes of me just blowing on a hot tea. <laughs> I'm so weird. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and give it a small sip and try not to burn my mouth off. Whoa. Um, that's not what I expected. It's like I just put like a really, like a, a chocolate, a chocolate bar in my mouth. The smell is very deceiving. Okay. Very, very deceiving. Even when I inhale, and when I first inhale, it kind of turns my stomach a little bit because it reminds me of the coffee. But then I get it in my mouth and it's like chocolate. And I don't, I don't get anything else in it though. Like, I think the apple is what's sweetening it up a lot, but I'm not getting a lot of apple taste. I'm mostly getting the chocolate taste. Wow. Yeah, I just feel like I'm having a cup of hot chocolate. Aside from the smell, like the initially when you tip it up and you get the smell go up your nostrils. Aside from that, once I have it in my mouth and I swallow, I feel like I'm drinking hot chocolate. It's not what I expected. It's really not what I expected. It's not a bad tea. I don't know if I would add it to my personal stash only because the smell kind of, every time I bring it up, the smell is not very nice to me. And so every time I go to if I'll drink it, it's not something I think I'll enjoy just for the fact that every time I bring it up, I'll be like, ooh. Um, but the taste itself tastes like hot chocolate. Mm. Now it's cooled down enough now that I can pretty much take bigger sips of it. Hmm. Yeah, it's just hot chocolate. There's nothing really more I can describe from it. It's kind of like thinking of the ingredients and then just like think. It kind of blows me away that it tastes like hot chocolate with, with the apple being in there, too. Hmm. And I mean, you guys saw, there wasn't like only a couple of pieces of apple in that thing. Like, there was a lot of pieces of apple in that bag. Let me go ahead. We're gonna lay that over there. Cause you know me. I gotta try it. I got to. Besides, I made a big tumbler of this and um, I, I would like to finish this one. So let's go ahead and hopefully not. Okay. Ooh, she filled right up. <gasps> yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. It looks like milk with a hint of the um, chocolate. It doesn't smell as strong now. That's nice. Hopefully it doesn't taste as hot because it's still in the tumbler. It doesn't have to be. Let's see, let's try and... Ooh, yeah. Oh, there we go. Ho, ho, ho. I ninja that like a pro. All I got was a little dribble going down the side. I'm getting good at this. So, yeah. The smell is gone. Um, I guess where it's like the almond and the vanilla now mixed in with it, it doesn't smell as pungent as it did like coffee. I don't... I still don't understand why it smells like coffee to me. Maybe... Um, maybe it's one of those things where I read that it's a mocha and I know mocha has coffee in it, so therefore my brain automatically thinks it should smell that way. I don't know. Maybe I should get my friend to smell it and just tell me, what does this smell like before she knows what it's called? Because she loves coffee. Anyway, let's give this a try. See, it just looks like sloppy water. <laughs> like milk. A very tin, like, lightly colored milk. So... It tastes like a chocolate latte. It tastes like hot chocolate with milk in it. Like, with more milk than you would normally put in a hot chocolate, I mean. Hmm. Yeah, I could definitely finish off that. I don't think I'll add it to my collection. Although, it might be nice to have a little bit in my collection if I ever want hot chocolate, but I don't want the calories that go with hot chocolate. It's not a bad idea. And there is a tea called hot chocolate. And I can't remember if I like that. I did have it, though, at one point. Maybe in the last calendar? Hmm. Hmm. 
now I'm not sure which one would be better. The one that is actually called hot chocolate tea. My screen was going black. Or, um, this. Either way, I like it. It's good. It's not amazing, but it's good. I definitely like it better as the latte rather than just the black tea. And if I were to put this in my stash, this is how I would drink it as the latte, not as the black tea. Anyway, guys, that was day 24, but there's still one thing left, isn't there? Because we have, ooh, we have this right here. This is our gift. This has nothing. I was like trying to pull this out and I was like, oh, what's in here? It's, it's nothing, it's, it's filler. I got excited. But we have this. I already kind of know what this is because you can sort of see it through the, the hole there. Um, we get a free spoon. Wah. It's a pretty little black spoon to go with the calendar because the calendar was the black calendar. I think if you get the red one, you'd get a red calendar and I can't remember what other, col other color uh, the, the third calendar was, but I'm guessing the spoons will match them all. Oh, I have a little sticker. The the barcode sticker, I'll take that off later. But yeah, so we get a, a perfect spoon. This is my third spoon now. I think I have a, a, a silver one, a green one, and now the black one. And I'm gonna pop that. Oh my God, there's tea. For every time that I've ever like dumped out the tea bag, there's like little bits of tea inside underneath the boxes and stuff. I might have to dump that out at some point in time. But yeah, that was everything that's in the calendar this year. Um, and that was the end of 24 days of Temis. We have reached the end of everything. So um, I have decided I'm going to go ahead and make the other channel for tea reviews because I would like to continue doing this, at least putting up a review or a, a haul to show you new teas or uh, things like that. Um, over the course of the next year and beyond or whatever, and maybe do it once a week or twice a week, depending on how much time that I have and stuff. I'm going to make the official announcement and let you know about all the information about that on January the 1st, because that's when I will be starting. I will put up the first video for January 1st uh, of this upcoming year, 2019 so join me for that and other than that guys thank you for joining me here for 24 days of Temis for 2018 I want to wish you all a very merry merry Christmas and a happy new year and if you don't celebrate Christmas I hope you have an awesome day all the same no matter what and I hope the new year that comes up you all have a very very awesome awesome 2019 Anyway, guys, that concludes the 24 days of Temis Christmas calendar for 2018. And I will see you on the new channel. Pay attention for that announcement January 1st. I'm telling you, pay attention. Join the channel. Subscribe. Follow me. Um, <laughs> but anyway, I will see you guys next year for hopefully the next calendar or whatever else happens or comes along that's tea related. Yay! Anyway, guys, thank you for joining me and have an awesome rest of this year and an awesome next year as well. Mwah. Bye!